Flying spaghetti monster. What is it? Is it real? Who came up with it? Well, it is a mythological being, which in the realm of pseudoscience, the multiverse, higher dimensions, alternate dimensions, parallel dimensions, all kinds of strange stuff. It is no more or less real or weird than any other religion or deity you can throw at me. More importantly, it is worshipped by an elusive group known as Pastafarians, which brings a little bit of light and joy to, the, to religion and do not inflict any harm or discomfort on others. They represent the fact that under this constitution, we can exercise our right to worship whoever, whatever we want, regardless of what others say. They represent the fact that a little bit of wonderment and thinking beyond the natural world has never harmed anyone, and that it's something sh that should be er embraced, that imagining is something that embraces freedom. I think that people need to be able to make their own choices in their own lives as long as those decisions don't adversely affect others. Uh, Sam, there are plenty of things people do that don't make sense, but of course they're otherwise harmless to others and might be mildly harmless to the person who thinks it or believes it, but um, no one makes a big deal of it. If the religious community, instead of going away, morphed into a system, systems of philosophy that made no attempt to say things about the physical world that are easily verifiable by the methods and tools of science and, and rational inquiry. And they only simply talked about, you know, how to treat your neighbor, how to, you know, maybe give you some place to think you might be when you're dead. Um, what's the harm in that? Well, <clears throat> I think that these people show us that spiritual and mythological wonderment, thinking and wondering and imagining possibilities outside of our known world is something that should be entirely embraced. That maybe thinking outside of the box and imagining a little bit is something that's totally just something we should all do every once in a while. And that even though people may be repulsed at this religion, I think they're wrong in doing so. I think these people have never harmed anyone, and rather that people have had fun thinking and talking about them, and that they're okay with people joking and talk talking about them as they do to others. They represent the fact that we should be able to be a little bit more lighthearted about even serious issues, that people shouldn't be repulsively offended by all the slightest little things just because a matter may be a relatively serious matter. I think that overall, allowing yourself and allowing others to become offended just because somebody is a little bit facetious on a matter is, does more harm than good. And for that, I made this video for the Pastafarians and for people of other religion. I don't mean it to dis disrespect religion, discount religion, or dis disrespect Pastafarians. Ultimately, I'm a Christian. Even though Pastafarians may say things that are slightly disrespectful to my religion, my job is not to disrespect theirs in retaliation, or to throw rocks back, or to fight fire with fire. My job is to respond with kindness and compassion, with empathy. And I believe that these people are great people. You know, I think they mean well. And even though they know that their ideas sound a little bit ridiculous, but from a perspective of wonderment, is it really that ridiculous that a being that is inspired off of something many of us know and love, spaghetti, something that brings us joy, that brings us together, 
around a candlelit dinner of love and compassion. And oftentimes, we couldn't be happier than eating that spaghetti. It represents that the, f- the fact that our God, as a Christian, is nothing more than a representation of trying for us all to be happy and compassionate to each other. So with that, how different are the two deities? And so I leave you with that thought. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this first installment of three word movie titles. I know this video was a little eh, not that good and pretty weird and terrible. And I meant no disrespect and I may have misspoken and in some parts, so don't take everything I said too seriously. It was meant to be semi-serious but jokingly serious. But, yeah, guys, just write your three-word comments in the description below. Try not to make it too crazy. All right. Hope you guys enjoy. Goodbye.